These are just some of the people who have gotten paid grants after watching our videos. $40,000, $10,000, $15,000 in rental assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you a new 50, yes 50, count the fingers on my hand, $50,000 grant opportunity for small businesses that you, yes you, my beloved viewers, can complete in as little as 30 minutes. And to top it off, the application portal hasn't even opened yet. It opens in about five days. Therefore, you have practically a work week to put together your materials, to structure your responses, pre-writing them as I have told you in previous videos. And watch this video until the end because I'm going to show you the exact way to structure your entry into the application you will submit for this grant program based off all the winning entries that this grant program's administrators have posted on their website. The FedEx Small Business Grant Contest opens February 10th, big winners, big awards. How would winning $50,000 help your business do more of the things it does best? Three winners will get $50,000, one year of Clevo. This does split testing and all kinds of marketing legwork on your behalf on an automated basis. Website audits by higher visibility. You get some marketing consultation from a digital marketing company, sustainable packaging consultation with eco and clothes and much more. Print services credit worth $4,000. First place, $20,000, seven winners. So you get seven first place winners. That'll get $20,000, a three month Clayevo prescription, website audit by higher visibility, sustainable packaging, consultation with EcoCleanse, and much, much more. Again, it starts on February 10th, 2022. And if you've been watching any of my previous videos, and if you haven't been watching them, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification to stay on top of all the grant opportunities that I encounter and other financial and business resources and other ways for you to obtain funding all the resources, I put them together and I list them on our spreadsheet where I list links to information resources and application portals to grants for everyone. And I've got this small business resources tab where you will find this link, bit.ly slash scrap note right here. And I have written all of my responses to the questions that are asked in applications to other grant programs, such as that Hundred thousand of Shelfcom LLC program for black owned businesses that I vlogged about back on December 15th, 2021. I put together a video for it. And remember, I told you that many of the questions that many of these grant administrators post in these applications, they'll come up time and time again. And look, take a look at what they want you to put together for the FedEx $50,000 grant program. Start thinking about a short company profile. That's what this scrap document is filled with. Company profiles, how I started my business, the origination story. Go ahead and watch that video if you wanna go ahead and get a refresher. And my other videos where I go ahead and show you how I apply for these grant programs. What makes you unique or stand out from the competition? Why did you start this business? What does your company do? What do you do differently or better than your competitors? Are there any social causes that are important to your business? How would you use the winnings to enhance your business? If you remember, if you don't remember, listen, I'm going to start listing these links. I'm gonna take off these shorteners, bit.ly and all this other stuff. And the only one you are going to need to remember is this one, bit.ly slash Neil Rod. Okay, this will open up this landing page where you can subscribe to my newsletter, our newsletter, and I will keep you on top of everything that I encounter, newest videos in the event YouTube doesn't send you a notification, how to obtain funding, how to enhance your credit, how to put yourself in a better position financially so you can help and save and feed your families to ultimately save this country. So go ahead and subscribe, bit.ly slash neilrod, and I'll give you access to the spreadsheets, to the responses, to everything. You guys wanted to see a winning pitch deck? I'm gonna show you one right now. Of course, you know, you need a company logo for this thing. Develop an idea for a video. Remember in this video right here, this is actually the video that I put together when I applied 
for the Shave Moisture Grant program right here. So I can go ahead and take this material and just use it for this right here. And you can do the same thing if you've been doing, again, not financial advice, simply what I am doing to apply for these grant programs. You can go ahead and take that material. If you've been following along, you already got the material set. You've already got your application structured. You got the jump on this, man. All right, and one man. All right, take a look at this. Review this example entry, okay? First off, here are the rules. Let's go through this before I forget. Otherwise, we won't get to them. Begins on February 10th, as I told you. Eligibility. Got to be in the 50 states or District of Columbia. Entrant must be 18 years or older. Authorized agent of the registered business. Business must be in operation for six months as of February 10th, 2022. So you have to have had your business in operation back in August of 2021. The business must be currently active, lawful, have all necessary and required licenses. And listen, if you've been watching my videos, you know, you can start a small business by simply going out and selling something. As I have told you time and time again, if you want to do anything with yourself in this country, build the biggest and the best and baddest digital asset or any asset class that you can build in this country, which is starting a small business, which is you simply generating any type of non W2 filed income. The beauty about starting a small business is that even if you do not win a grant, you could still generate revenue by selling products or services. For instance, selling used items that you can find in your garage or in garage sales on eBay or other online marketplaces if that's all you can come up with or you can put together a web development and web marketing package that you can learn how to structure by visiting the links that I list in my spreadsheet where I list links to information resources and application portals to grants for everyone and other business and individual financial resources. Then you can take that revenue and deposit it into a business bank account. You can start a business bank account at Wells Fargo and simply maintain a $500 balance so you can avoid incurring any fees. You can also get a no fee bank account, business bank account over at Chase if you are a veteran. And once you start to show that you can generate revenue on a regular basis, then you qualify for business credit. Even if you have a low credit score, the other way is to enhance your credit score by watching the video you see on the screen right now and once you get your credit score to 740 and better, then you can personally guarantee any funding that you obtain for your small business by opening business revolving credit cards, other credit lines, and other business credit products. The business must be currently active, lawful. You can't be selling smack or crack and try to apply for a grant through this program. The business must be in good standing as a time of entry, valid nine digit, FedEx shipping account number. You have to have an account with FedEx, a shipping need. You got to be able to ship things, printing need for the business. So if you're selling things on eBay, used items online, you'll have a shipping need. It's probably the simplest business that you could start in this year. The business must have no more than 99 employees and you can read the rest of it. It's linked from the webpage that you will find on the spreadsheet bit.ly slash Neil Rod. Okay. Go ahead, subscribe, and I'll go ahead and send you that material. Now, you want to see a winning entry? You want to see winning pitch decks and such? Right here, the Sword and Plow. I believe they won this program right here. And I saw, I thought I saw them on Shark Tank, but actually I saw a competitor. Ladies that were spouses of military personnel, and they have other spouses of military personnel use military surplus to go ahead and design bags. This organization does the same thing, the Sword and Plow. They get their name the sword and plow from the Bible. In the Bible, it reads, turn your swords into plowshares or to items that you, so you take your tools of war and turn them into things with which you can work, I guess, in peace, farm. A veteran-owned social impact fashion brand, SP, repurposes military surplus, empowers vet employment, and donates 10% of profits to vets org. So why am I reading that? It's the elevator pitch. Look how short it is. One sentence. You go ahead and create this elevator pitch. Tell us about your business. My sister and co-founder, Betsy and I, grew up in a military family. I wanted to serve as a captain in the U.S. Army. We realized that we could create stylish bags and accessories that would empower veteran employment, strengthen civil military understanding, and reduce waste. So they take 
old tents, military tents, parachutes, and they create bags with them and other fashion accessories, right? That's what, And then they employ veterans to go ahead and produce these items. Look, SP is supported 65 veteran jobs from designers to manufacturers, repurposed over 35,000 pounds of military surplus and donated 10% of profits to veteran orgs each year. How would you use the FedEx Small Business Grant? I'll just go ahead and paraphrase. They're going to hire a veteran into the position of assistant operations manager, someone with logistics experience. Look, it didn't constitute more than a paragraph to go ahead and put this together. You got five days to do this, okay? If you see this at the time of uploading, they got their video. It's a two-minute video that, again, if you've been watching my videos, you already have most of the material because the video that I went ahead and posted for this entry, it's like about 90 seconds long already. So you add 30 seconds to that, and I actually added more to the NAV submission. And you saw the NAV submission that we posted some time ago. If you want to see that video, I'll go ahead and send it through the newsletter. Go ahead and post it. And here are the 2021 grant winners right here. Take a look. And they have information on each one. So you know how to structure a winning entry. You see the types of businesses that they are looking to fund through this program. Start to structure your business. Sometimes you have to reposition your business in a way that makes it unique in your category the way that these people have done it. Look, the Queen Amnio Solutions. One of these products, Revno, has been used in over 4,000 horses. All right, it maximizes the health and performance of horses all across breeds and athletic disciplines. They got some regenerative veterinary products that helps horses, right? And if you click the link, you see how FedEx's mission through this program is celebrating women founders. So if you're a woman founder, go ahead and take a look. See how your <clears throat> principles align with theirs and go ahead and use that to structure your pitch for this grant program. Now, the second place winners that got $30,000 plus $5,000 in FedEx office print services, KC Cattle Company, specializing in the production of Wagyu beef products. Food and White call their Wagyu hot dogs the best in the world. So you start to go ahead and list your accolades. Their true passion is providing veterans. Again, recurring theme, veterans. You're starting to notice a pattern. They want to support veteran-owned businesses. If you are a veteran, I know a number of you are veterans. Go ahead and take a look and look what they're highlighting. Pandemic resilience. How small businesses offer lessons in re resilience during pandemic. What have you done to show resilience through the pandemic? If you read through my scrap document, you see how once a number of my clients started to slash their advertising budgets, I showed resilience by launching this channel, basically sharing my experiences applying for pandemic relief through the federal government. And a number of you have been able to been funded. I helped fund over $2.8 million in PPP loans, which essentially became grants as long as you use the money on approved expenses, payroll, the rest on other items that were approved based on the PPP program's guidelines. So. You see how I wrote, how I showed resilience to that, how I built the YouTube channel after seeing that I had to reposition my business. And I have all those responses right here and you have access to those responses right here. As long as you visit the small business resources tab on our spreadsheet labeled grants for everyone, a number of you have this thing already bookmarked and you know of it all over the place. And I'll include a link to this FedEx grant program in that spreadsheet as well and again through the newsletter i will be providing links to all these free materials the third place winners here goes care plus wear coyotas green top gifts i bought christmas pjs this year they have they bring diversity to your celebrations with apparel home decor and stationery you can go ahead i won't open each of these up you can go ahead and do that yourself because you have all these links right here available to you on this spreadsheet that you can find after subscribing to our newsletter at bit.ly slash neil rod watch the video you see on the screen right now so you can learn how to enhance your credit so you can fund your business and qualify for other funding opportunities